few months ago, when I had a mere five subscribers, I made a video about the derivatives of Cyberpunk leading up to the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 in August before it was pushed back again to December. In that video, I said, Let's get 10 likes on this video and I'll make a part two going in depth on Cyberpunk itself. And whoa, 15 likes? Not only that, but it was my most popular video until I made Baby Yoda Wants a Chicken Nugget. So here we are, dear viewers. I'm going to take a look at Cyberpunk, its aesthetic, its common themes, its history, all that. Thank you for making this one happen. What is Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk movies, games, and other forms of media depict the future. Usually things are dystopian. Life might seem cool at the surface level due to high tech, cybernetic enhancements, and virtual realities. But society as a whole is in a state characterized by tyrannical governments and dehumanization. In most cases, there sits a privileged few at the top of the world looking down on the rest of society, secretly pulling the strings of the life around our protagonist. The dystopian societies in these works of fiction exist to draw attention to what can, and in some cases what already has, happened in real life. Cyberpunk showcases the worst case scenarios of having a hedonistic ruling and governing class usually supported by unfettered capitalism. They rule with a seemingly insurmountable iron fist. Oftentimes when technology evolves quickly, society and ethics don't evolve at the same rate, leading to unfortunate consequences. These unfortunate consequences lead to groups of rebellious forces to resist the tyranny. The History of Cyberpunk Cyberpunk got its roots in the 1960s with the release of books by various authors. The 1960s was a time of rapid technological advancements and political upheavals. Let's take a look at some of the things going on at that time. It was the Cold War, and many people were questioning governments, religions, and economic systems. Not just in the US and the Soviet Union, but around the world this was going on. Governments, the governments were more concerned with one-upping each other than taking care of their own citizens. The space race was going on along with nuclear proliferation. Humanity had just reached the moon in 1969. People began asking themselves, where is society headed? Will the world be doomed in 40 years? While I wasn't born yet, I can imagine the anxiety there was, as there was no clear solution in sight. Books and works of art communicate these anxieties as writers and artists often express the woes of their time. And thus, cyberpunk was born. The first true cyberpunk movie to become widely known, despite being considered a failure, is Tron in 1982. You can bet I'm going to review that movie at some point. It was followed around the same time by Blade Runner. Blade Runner was less successful but slowly gained a following and solidified itself as the main template for cyberpunk. Fast forward a few more years and you have The Fifth Element, followed by The Matrix. I don't like The Matrix. The Matrix is not just cyberpunk. In my opinion, The Matrix is cyberpunk. It has everything I would want out of a cyberpunk movie. Dystopia brought on by humanity itself, hand-to-hand -hand action set pieces, futuristic technology, virtual reality, and the questioning of ethics. But there is one cyberpunk movie even better than that. A cyberpunk movie I can't wait to review that is criminally underrated by some movie critics. You know what movie it is. It's me, your boy. Alita Battle Angel. If you can't wait for me to make my Alita video, leave a comment about it and your favorite cyberpunk movie or game. And leave a like as well. Why not? Protagonists. Cyberpunk has, let's say, a preference for a certain type of protagonist. They are often what's called console cowboys. They are masters of technology and computers, almost always hackers of some sort. They are often anti-heroes that make the best of their environment. They get placed in situations where they are forced to act. Neo from The Matrix fits this perfectly. Speaking of Neo, Keanu Reeves is set up to become the face of cyberpunk. He has starred in multiple movies in the genre and is playing a key role in 2077. The aesthetic of cyberpunk. The connection between the human brain and computers is the main hallmark of cyberpunk, be it having cybernetic enhancements to being a full-on robot to living in 
a simulation. The grime and grit of film noir plays a part in building cyberpunk settings. Nihilism permeates the cybernetic underground scene. Neon is often found in the setting as well. Best example being Tron Legacy. In Tron Legacy, everything is neon. Look at this movie, it's gorgeous. Let's take a minute to appreciate this work of art. It takes the limited and outdated visuals of the original Tron and cranks them up to 11. Many of the cities in cyberpunk movies are inspired by real life ones, such as Tokyo, New York, Hong Kong, and Shanghai. The Kowloon Walled City of Hong Kong was the cyberpunk city of real life. Check out my video on Ready Player One for more details. A movie that is almost, but not quite, cyberpunk. The music and sound of cyberpunk. In my opinion, the genres of music that really enhance cyberpunk themes are things like synth, electric stuff, and punk rock. Throw in a little prog metal, big beat, and industrial in there, and we have something going. I would say cyberpunk that leans more towards the cybernetic and computers goes towards electronic and synth, while the more grittier cyberpunk goes for rock. Cyberpunk is a rich genre that makes for thought-provoking and dramatic storytelling. Its dystopian aspects perfectly embody the anxieties brought about by ever-changing technology and its abuse by uncaring governments. Cyberpunk 2077 is looking to be a very faithful adaptation of a cyberpunk world and a decent game overall, despite its excessively long development time and constant delays. And that, dear viewer, is my rundown on cyberpunk. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little. Remember to check out my video on the derivatives of cyberpunk and leave your comments about your favorite cyberpunk movie. If this video gets 30 likes, I will follow it up with a top 5 ranking of my favorite cyberpunk movies. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, drink some water, and have a good one.